un, un effet de surprise en arrivant ici qui est extraordinaire. Et en fait, je pense que même les images n'arrivent pas à rendre aussi bien euh, que la réalité. On vient ici pour euh, s'y reposer avant tout. On, vraiment, on a l'impression d'être coupé du monde et ça, c'est la magie du luxe euh, selon moi. Mais à côté de ça, on peut y rester vraiment plusieurs jours parce qu'il y a un nombre incroyable d'activités qu'on peut faire à l'intérieur du désert. We are not used to see uh, hotels where animals are so important. Can you tell us why falcon is so important for this hotel? Falconry is one of the oldest traditions, uh, an old technique which they were using to provide for their families in the desert. Uh -huh. So when I mean provide is they were hunting with these birds, uh, different animals in the desert, so that they can give them as a sort of uh, protein to the family during winter time. It's part of the culture. It's of, part of the culture, uh, okay. exactly. And that's why it became the national bird of, uh, of yes. UAE. va rester gravé dans votre mémoire finalement ce sont d'un côté les expériences que vous allez vivre et les personnes que vous allez rencontrer et ici il faut dire quand même qu'il y a une, à la fois une gentillesse profonde de, de tout le staff de l'hôtel qui est vraiment présent et qui a qu'une seule envie c'est de vous faire plaisir et à côté de ça une vraie passion de certaines personnes que vous pouvez rencontrer ici My name is Ashton Balakistan I am the activity supervisor for the animal staycation Like Nina is like all relaxed and she's like a real, like the grandmother of the hawks. Yeah, and then Sola is just a more natural one. Okay, you're gonna feed Nina, yeah? I do a combination of adventure guides, so I do all the activities as well as making sure that all the animals are well looked after, they're taken care of. Tomorrow in the morning we'll take three of them and we'll make sure we have the mouth guard so we can take them, hello girl. We take them for a nice uh, uh, desert run so yeah, they yeah. can stretch their legs and get some exercise. Yes. I do what I love, so to, for me to work with uh, animals every day and to meet different people from all across the world, different nationalities, uh, it's, it's something that is, uh, doesn't make me feel like I'm working. So, It's a dream job, basically. <laughs> so I love that. Hello, chef. Hello. Nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm very well. How are you doing? Very well, very well. So what is interesting here is that we are used to, of course, those kind of gardens in many hotels in the world, yeah. but here we are right in the middle of nothing. What's the purpose of this place? To have uh, fresh plants, fresh uh, flowers, fresh vegetables, fruits for the hotel, let's say in a, in a busy season, to, to back up our needs. Okay, so you use a lot of the things that are here, either yeah. for food or for decoration or...? Mainly decoration and food. Okay. Yeah. And how many restaurants do you have in the hotel today? Uh, we have Suhil Steakhouse, we have Gadir Mediterranean Restaurant, we have Alivan, which is in the lobby, you might see it, uh -huh. and Arabic restaurant uh, Al Falaj, which is closed now because of the Yeah, the which weather. is only open in winter when the yes. season is a bit yes. more cool in yeah. terms of a so very different type of cuisine. Yeah. So how do you manage this? Because you are from Serbia. Yeah. Uh, so of course you're not a specialist in Arabic food. So yeah. do you have specific chefs from yes, all exactly. different cultures? Exactly. We have Arabic chefs for Arabic cuisine. We have Thai chefs. We have like, like me from Serbia, Western chefs. And uh, of course Indian chefs for oh. Indian cuisine. I've read 
that uh, Falcon is the only bird that you can take on a plane with you in the UAE. Is it true or not? Yeah, it is true. You can see a passport, uh, a Falcon owning a passport. They go to <laughs> planes, uh, they go to Uzbekistan, uh, Pakistan for hunting with the birds. For a normal individual like me, if I have my falcon, I'm going to put it in, in the falcon box. It's going to be with other birds. Mm. But for them, they pay thousands of dirhams just so that a falcon can have a seat beside the falcon. <laughs> Je pense qu'il y a vraiment beaucoup d'hôtels qui méritent le détour. Après, des hôtels d'exception qui méritent le voyage, je ne suis pas sûr qu'il y en ait énormément dans le monde. Euh, et je ne dis pas ça du tout en étant blasé, parce que j'adore euh, revoir des multitudes de fois tous les hôtels qu'on peut avoir dans notre collection. Mais celui-là mériterait vraiment de prendre un long courrier, ne serait-ce que pour passer quelques jours ici. 